After five years of negotiations, Germany and Namibia have reached a compensation deal for the genocide committed by German colonial troops more than a century ago. But descendants of victims of the massacres reject the 1 billion euro agreement. DW Africa went to the village in Namibia where a German general gave the order for his men to kill tens of thousands of Africans. Our correspondent, Adrian Kriesch, takes up the story. This is an emotional place for many Herero. Here in the village of Ochinene, they call this tree Gauthepo. Hundreds of Herero prisoners of war were hanged here by German troops. That just go through the neck and then uh, they hang them. Sadness, uh, certainly anger, yes, no doubt, that um, a human being could actually be doing this uh, for what reason? For the reason that our ancestors uh, simply stood up and refused to give up what belonged to them, namely their land. More than 100 years ago, German soldiers killed almost 100,000 Herero and Nama in the former colony of German Southwest Africa. In 1904, Lothar von Trotha gave the so-called extermination order. It included women and children. Now Germany wants to recognize this as a genocide and has pledged 1.1 billion euros for development projects. That's what the governments negotiated without Rukoro. That's a deal between two governments, a la development aid. It has nothing to do with our demand for reparations. They are fooling us. We are not fools. Rukoro, a former attorney general in Namibia, and his supporters are still considering legal action. But previous attempts have already failed in several U.S. courts. Paramount Chief Rukoro says that he's representing 95% of the Hereros in the country, but not everybody in Namibia sees it that way. We are on our way to the small town of Ukakarara, two hours away by car. Here, too, the majority of the population is Herero, and there are several traditional leaders. The paramount chief chainship thing is, is not in existence. But so you don't see him as your paramount he, chief? He is not. It's not that uh, I'm not seeing. He is not. The traditional leaders here don't share a singular viewpoint. Some support Rukoro's legal actions, others are in favor of the deal negotiated by the government. Some others want a renegotiation, demanding more money for this poor region. Unfortunately, the negotiating did, did not come back to us to, to tell us how did the German government arrive at the figures they have uh, concluded. So um, I'm not yet of the opinion that the two governments should go ahead with the, with the agreement until there is consensus with the affected community. In the capital Windhoek, Zet Ngaviruhe led negotiations for the Namibian government for more than five years. The diplomat is also Herero. We would have liked to have had more, but after five years, uh, it has been demonstrated this is what seems to them affordable financially, politically. That, uh, Ngavirua has a list of 27 traditional chiefs of the Herero and Nama who were involved in the negotiations. And it's only three who said uh, they don't accept. So you say it's a minority, uh, basically, of... Uh, yeah, obviously. Now, there are people, of course, uh, who are thinking of their own name, ego, story. So I think one can't worry about what... Uh, one or two, three chiefs and their followers say. The agreement is supposed to turn the page on a painful chapter of the past, but Paramount Chief Rukoro and his supporters are against it. They want reparations and new negotiations.